Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to study about something really interesting. It might surprise you as well. Did you know that the way we age, like we human beings, we grow old and we age, in a very similar way, even lakes also undergo an aging process. Quite surprising, right? But yes, that's true. The way we become old, we gradually become old and our hair turns grey. In a very similar way, there are certain symptoms which tells that a lake is also aging. So here we are actually going to talk about the aging process of a lake. Now you might wonder that how come suddenly we started talking about the aging process of a lake. That's because when we discuss water pollution, this process of aging of lakes also plays a very important role in that regard. So let us see how that happens. So this natural aging process of a lake is known as eutrophication. So this is the terminology which is associated with the aging process of a lake and it is called eutrophication. So now we will spend some time understanding what is eutrophication and how exactly it takes place. So now whenever you see a lake, you might wonder in yourself whether it is a young lake or an old lake because even the lakes are undergoing aging. So eutrophication. Now there can be two types of aging associated with a lake. It could can be physical aging or it can be biological aging. Now what do we mean by physical aging and biological aging? Now when I say physical aging, it means that there is some difference with aging on the physical appearance of the lake. For example, with aging the lake gets filled with more sediments. So the sediments which is present at the bottom of the lake. So the sediments tend to increase with aging. Lake becomes shallower. So the depth of the lake actually decreases. So something of this sort. Let us suppose this is the lake. Okay, so this is the depth of the lake. Let us just consider it like this. It is the depth of the lake initially. Now after a couple of years, this lake starts to age. Then what happens? Gradually, the bottom part of the lake gets filled with sediments. So the sediments start settling down at the bottom. So what happens to the depth of the lake now? So if you see here, the depth got reduced. That means the lake became shallow. So with physical aging, sediments increase and lake becomes shallower. Whereas when we talk about biological aging, what does that mean? Whenever we talk about biological aging, that, that talks about the productivity of the lake. Now, old lakes have higher primary productivity, where, whereas the young lakes have lower primary productivity. That means with aging, primary productivity increases. Now, I hope all of you know what is primary productivity. We discussed about primary productivity in detail in the ecosystem lesson. So, it is nothing but the amount of biomass which is produced by the producers of any ecosystem. So, that is called primary productivity. Now, it has been seen that young lakes have lesser primary productivity, maybe because the number of aquatic plants are less, because in the aquatic ecosystems, mostly phytoplanktons and aquatic plants, they act as the producers. So, maybe their number is less, but with, with over a period of time, the number of producers increase. And when the number of producers Users increase the primary productivity of the lake as a whole also increases so we can say that with aging or with biological aging the primary productivity of the lakes tend to increase so now let us look at the exact process of eutrophication how exactly the process of eutrophication takes place so for that we introduce a new term called trophic states now, what are trophic states? Trophic states denote the degree of eutrophication of a lake. That means how much the lake has eutrophied. That means how much the lake has aged. For example, in case of human beings, how do we determine how much a person is aging with the help of age? Now, somebody who is 20 years old, we do not say that he or she is aging. Now, from 20 when he becomes, say, 23, 24, gradually he becomes 30. So we say, okay, he is aging gradually. From 30 again, he gradually becomes 40 and so on. So age is a parameter which tells how much aging has taken place for that particular human being. In a very similar way, 
In order to measure the degree of eutrophication, we talk about trophic states. So there are three different states through which every lake has to pass through in its entire lifetime. So let us see what are these trophic states. So as the lake ages, it passes through different states. So the first trophic state is oligotrophic state. Now what is oligotrophic state? So in this state, so this is oligotrophic state. So this is the first state. So here you can see this is the lake and this, this yellow colored line which you see at the bottom that denotes the sediments. So here it is a young lake basically. So here there is very little sediment. So as you can see here, very little sediment. So there are little sediment. Minimum primary productivity that is quite obvious now your sediments are less your aquatic plants are less so when your producers are less your primary productive will be primary productivity will be less so that is why minimum primary productivity but it has maximum depth that is because the sediment is less so this depth is maximum so this denotes the depth so this is the oligotropic state. So in this state, depth is maximum, productivity minimum, sediment is again minimum. Now as the lake ages, the nutrient gets enriched. Now when the nutrient gets enriched, what's happen what happens? Primary productivity increases. When primary productivity increases, aquatic plants also keep on increasing simultaneously. So as a result, when the next stage comes, that is the mesotropic state. What happens in the mesotropic state? Here if you see more sediment when compared to the oligotropic state. So here the sediment is comparatively more. So here you have more sediment, more primary productivity because now you can see there are more aquatic plants, so more primary productivity. Now why the aquatic plants increases? Because over a period of time, the nutrients present in the water, that also keeps on increasing. So therefore, uh, the primary productivity will also increase and intermediate depth. So here you can see since the sediment is, has increased, therefore the depth has decreased. So here if you compare this depth and this depth, so you can see that this depth is lesser. So the depth in case of oligotropic state is more than that of mesotropic state. Now meso means middle. So this, this state is in between oligotropic state and eutropic state. That is why it is called mesotropic state. And finally the third state that is eutropic state. So here now the lake is becoming all the more older. So this stage is called eutrophic state. So in this state what will happen? It has maximum sediment. So here if you see it has maximum sediment. So you see that look at the thickness of the sediment. So as a result the depth has reduced a lot. So the depth of the lake is reduced. So we can say it is shallow and maximum primary productivity. So now you can see there are so many aquatic plants. So the number of producers have also increased and therefore the primary productivity have also become maximum. So as the lake passes through the following states, that is oligotrophic state, mesotrophic state and eutrophic state, gradually the primary productivity keeps on increasing, the depth keeps on decreasing and the sediment also keeps on increasing. So this is how a particular lake ages. So now the question is what is it that results in the increase in primary productivity? As I said because the number of aquatic plants increased but why the number of aquatic plants increased? That's because the nutrient content increases. Now how the nutrient content increases? Now with time there are many deposits which bring in phosphates or chlorine to the water. Now high concentration of phosphate or chlorine what does it do? As the concentration increases the clarity of the water keeps on reducing but at the same time these are some of the nutrients which are extremely important for the growth of plants therefore plants keep growing right so both the things happen at the, the productivity is increasing but at the same time the clarity of the water is reducing so this is basically the process of eutrophication Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.